Now let's handle the Firebase real-time auth updates. So I mean, when we log in, our app should send data to Firebase that we're logged in. If we log out, our app should send data to Firebase that we're logged out. So if here I have an email one and one password field, login button and login button. I have added one email here of my email. So let me just create this on auth state change function that will listen to auth on state change in real time. So just make it like this here and create one use effect hook. Use effect. Simple as that. Make it an empty string here. I mean empty array. So just call the function here. So I mean when we are logging, it takes an auth parameter. And second thing it takes is an callback function. Callback function returns some data to us so we can say data and console it here. Data. If I check this console here, let's see what we have initially. So we are getting the data here because now we are logged in. So let me start from the beginning, log out. Fine. So, <coughs> sorry. Now we are logged out here. So let me enter the email and password. Email is this and the password is something. Okay, fine. So if I click login with the email and password, this function on or state changed, it is sending data to Firebase that we are logged in. If we click log out, this will send data to Firebase that we are logged out. And it's persisting. Even if we refresh the page, it will still exist. So unless we log out or log in, the state will not change. So if I log in, click the button here, we will get all the data here. See, even if we refresh the page, it will be still the getting the data. We will still getting the data here. But if we click log out, this should be null. It means now we are logged out. So let me just refresh the page and you will still see the null because we have not logged in, we are logged out. Let me give you one more thing here. So create a check if data exists or if it's not null or if we are logged in, we will show an alert here every time it runs that we are logged in. But else if or just else, okay, just make it else, we will see an alert that we are logged out or not logged in. Save this and now let's try this. So see, we are reading this message called logged logged in. So refresh the page, still the same because we are not logged in. If we enter the email and the password, we should see that we are logged in now. Okay, then if we refresh, we are logged in because Firebase has set the state of auth state to logged in. If we log out, the state will change to logged out. So that was all about on our state change in Firebase, which listens to our real time updates in auth. So you can use this data to check or to route to a data or a home page if we are logged in. But if you are logged out, we can throw us back to the login page or register page.